as was said on Sunday, over these last weeks and even maybe months, the question's been asked, how do we know when we've arrived at that state where the three levels of life, existence, mind have merged to bring about a state that's called Satchitananda, or undifferentiated awareness. And perhaps there's the possibility that we've established that there are certain indicators of this. And some of those are, uh, first, that we, for the most part, find ourselves um, in a state of perpetual presence. And secondly, that there's an absence of dialogue, what ifs and shoulds and buts, or an absence of doubt. And then we find that although there's responses to the experiences of life, there's an absence of reaction. And also that we find that we're no longer looking out at life as a reflection. So you can say there's an absence of the mirror. But on Sunday, a very important story was told. And that story was entitled, The Lowly Staff. This was a story about a great sage called Sasitha, who was in harmony with all of existence. But Sasitha had a wooden staff that could fend off all weapons of all natures, both earthly and occult. But when he aligned this wooden staff at the front of his body, it opened up not only to absorb poisoned arrows, but all the realities of life and return them to their primordial state. Now, judging from the questions and inquiries that were made after this story was told, asking, what is this staff? Perhaps we can mm, embark on the, an endeavor to establish what this is for us. This lowly staff that can fend off not only the weapons, the onslaughts, of experiences, but when aligned at the front of our being, can open up to absorb, transform all experiences and return them to their primordial state. Um, there had been a monk who had been a monk for about 30 years. And he went to the master and he said, Master, I've been practicing Buddhism for 30 years. Will you tell me the essence of Buddhism? And the master sat quietly for a few moments. And then he said, sit, breathe and be at ease. But whatever disturbs your ease is the essence of Buddhism. And then there is that very famous and wise abbess. And very often when seekers came to her to gain entry into the monastery and the teachings, 
she would send them on a two-hour trek up a steep mountain to gather wild mushrooms. But they were warned that on the path up to where the mushrooms could be found, there lived a wild dog. So when the seekers came back to the abbess, she would ask them, how did they find the dog? And some of them would say that the dog was so menacing that they could not proceed to fulfill the task that had been given to them because they were afraid. Others would say that they encountered a dog that was obviously <coughs> in great distress and they would only wish that they could heal the distress of this dog. Others passed the dog without even noticing. They were so intent on the task that had been given to them. And others said, oh, yes, we met this friendly dog on the path. But when they came back and recounted their stories to the abbess, she knew exactly where they were at. But when she herself was asked, what is the nature of this dog? The abbess would only smile. We can ask ourselves what is this lowly staff that we have? We can have indicators of what this state, this integrated state of Satchitananda is. We can see them in our life. But how do we come to acknowledge and recognize the lowly staff that we have that not only fends off the weapons of existence directed at us, but when aligned at the front of our being becomes an aperture, an opening that would bring all experiences and return them to their primordial state. What could these simple anecdotes bring to allow us to glean what this lowly stuff is. The essence of Buddhism, that which allows us to recognize when we're not at ease. And the ability to recognize the true nature of all things. What is this lowly stuff?
Thank you, thank you.